Can I pour concrete directly on dirt? If you're planning a DIY project involving concrete, you might be wondering if you can pour it directly on dirt. This is a common question, and the answer is a bit more complicated than a simple yes or no. First, let's talk about why pouring concrete on dirt isn't usually the best idea. Dirt can shift, settle, and erode over time, which can lead to uneven surfaces and cracks in the concrete. This instability can compromise the durability and lifespan of your concrete structure. For instance, in areas that freeze, the sole can freeze and thaw, causing the concrete to crack and weaken. However, there are some scenarios where pouring concrete directly on dirt might be acceptable. If you're building something temporary, like an event platform or a temporary walkway, pouring concrete on dirt can be a valuable option. It's cheaper and easier to remove when you're done. For low load applications like garden pathways or light duty patios, it can also work, but you still need to be cautious about the stability and drainage. To prepare the ground properly, you need to clear the area of all vegetation, debris, and obstructions. Then, level the ground to ensure it's flat and even. Compacting the soil is crucial. Use a hand tamper or a plate compactor to increase the soil's density and stability. Adding a layer of gravel or sand can further enhance stability and improve drainage. This base layer should be about four to six inches thick and compacted well. If you still want to pour concrete directly on dirt, make sure to remove any vegetation and compact the sole thoroughly. Adding barriers to secure the concrete while it's still wet can help, but it's not a substitute for a proper base. Without a gravel or sand base, moisture from the soil can seep into the concrete, causing it to weaken and crack over time. In terms of the process, start by marking and measuring the area where you'll pour the concrete. Use string and stakes to outline the form and ensure the ground is perfectly flat. Remove any obstructions and compact the soil. If you decide to add a gravel base, lay it down evenly and compact it as well. The water to cement ratio is also important. It should be around 0.4 to 0.6 to ensure the concrete is strong and durable. Too much water can make the concrete more porous and weaker. In summary, while you can pour concrete directly on dirt, it's generally not recommended for long-term load-bearing structures. Proper ground preparation, including a gravel or sand base, is key to ensuring a stable and durable concrete structure. For temporary or low-load applications, pouring on dirt can be an option, but always take the necessary precautions to ensure the best results.